Hey guys, I want to give you my TNA review. Um, cause SmackDown starts very soon. I might not do a live reactions though because um, <coughs> I'm gonna be very busy. But we'll see what happens. Um, as for uh, TNA, it was kind of an average show this week. The best part was when uh, I'll just talk. I don't even have. Oh, I got. It. I want to tell you this though, Austin Aries and Jeff Hardy had a great, pretty good match tonight. Austin Aries actually did get the win off the Brain Buster. I actually thought Jeff Hardy would win because he had more, he's going to get more momentum. And we also found out that Samoa Joe is now going to be in the X Division Championship match. <coughs> so it's going to be Manic defending the X Division Championship against Austin Aries, Chris Sabin, Jeff Hardy, and Samoa Joe. Um. So that's actually going to be a pretty good Ultimate X match too. So, um, let's see. I'll talk about. Oh, they did a stupid thing with uh, Jesse Goddard versus ODB. It's pretty dumb until Lady Topa came in and just attacked the champion. Um, so that's pretty cool. I actually thought that was actually really cool. Um, anyways, um. So it looks like maybe she's going to go for the knockout championship. I don't think she's going to win the championship yet, but she's going to win it pretty soon. Um, and also, we found out that ODB and uh, Alex are going to be going on a 10-day tour. You can follow it on the TNA website. It's stupid. Um, oh, uh, Brooke, did B Brooke beat Velvet Sky with Chris Saban to become, an, I guess, like it's going to be a triple threat maybe. Or maybe it will just be Brooke versus uh, ODB, but... She's not the number one contender. I don't know what's going on, but uh, Velvet Sky got Velvet Sky. She got the win when uh, Chris Saban distracted Velvet Sky, so Chris Saban's showing more of his heel tactics. Uh, Bully Ray was allowed to choose his opponent by Dixie Carter. Um, he chose Garrett and uh, Garrett and Mike Knox. Uh, AJ Styles, of course, won, and then Bully Ray attacked him afterwards, beat him with the chin, and. Back body dropped him on like the stage, and then uh, bad Im Stin and Madness beat Bad Influence, Christopher Daniels and Kazarian, and Magnus wasn't happy about the way the match was won. Kurt Angle made a return, um, and challenged Bobby Roode to a match. I actually liked it. Well, it was an average show, but not much worth talking about, but I got the live reactions up if you want to take a look at those. That's pretty much it, guys. See you later.